police and goddamn what is up with you and the police man the police are just always they they follow you yeah what's up with it do it cause i love it and i stuck with it we ain't with the sub and in the car with it please none of the talks i heard enough of it like what you gonna do where you at who you with you ain't really about this don't talk about it really on the move on the map never slip keep your hands to your lips don't talk about it real eyes real lies real lies all the time stand on it if we said it we don't walk around it loose lips ain't ships red cup blue strips new phone who this no we don't allow it what is good John welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions man it's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys and yes today is a banger no cap no update on Vader however we will be in the Camaro today by the title and the thumbnail you guys can see it is a 1LE but it's a little different from Vader. So, I'm not even finna talk anymore. Let's just head straight there. Oh, and yeah, new JIHQ. But we got some. <laughs> Let's get to the video. Alright, y'all. So, like I told y'all, I had a banger video for you guys. For those who haven't seen your car on camera before, this is this is your spotlight right now. So go ahead, talk to him. So this is my pretty much brand new 2022 2SS 1LE uh, car that I bought. It is a kind of interesting story on how I got this one. I'm a true car enthusiast. I'm not brand specific. I like to just try different things with each new purchase. This is my 16th car purchase. So <laughs> I've gone through a few. Um, the enthusiast cars that I've had, if you will, will be a 15 WRX. A hatchback, a 15 uh, STI, and the Rally Blue, and then a murdered out 2018 Charge Charger Scat Pack, which we'll get to in a minute, <laughs> and then this car. Uh, uh, oh my God! So can you can you tell them what color this is? Because I know that's going to be the very first question in the comments. So this is vivid orange metallic. Vivid orange metallic, and the reason why they call it metallic, I'm gonna switch it over to manual focus here so y'all can really see the amount of flake that is in this paint is insane, dude. It's almost like a candy paint, but it's literally OEM from the factory, man. So, ugh, Jesus, Jesus. And then it's like, it's insane how you guys can literally see on camera how we walk from the back to the front where the sun is not hitting too hard and the difference is insane. So yeah, man, just a little walk around. Oh, and then you get, <laughs> bro, it's insane, dog, like legit. You go from where the sun is not at to where the sun is at and it's like the paint literally comes to life, bro. It's, it, it literally, it literally comes to life, bro. Ugh. Shall we get on the road? Yes, let's do that. And then that. we can talk about the story with the, it, it, it's, it's insane, y'all. It's insane. Let's, let's get in there. Can we get a, let's get a startup, man. Let's get, let's get a startup. And it is, it is a, we, he forgot to mention, it is, he said he is a true enthusiast. It is a six-speed manual. So there's no remote start. He's going to have to get in, put the clutch in, and turn it on like a true goddamn, you feel me? American muscle car. We're gonna get that stock MPP exhaust mode. Uh, uh, the pop on startup. The pop on startup. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. As y'all can see, got the Insta 360 here too. We're gonna go ahead and cut that on. Oh, oh. We're getting a little spicy. Get on a little spicy here. Get on a little spicy. All right, y'all. Got the Insta 360 going. We're gonna hop in the car with. My boy Puss, you did what I'm saying? And he has the sunroof. My guy does not use the sunroof, but he has it. And I, I ain't gonna lie, like, I hate him for that. <laughs> and he has the red, god damn it, man. Ugh, the interior of this car, it's just like mine, but it's like the 2SS is just heaven, man. Oh, my goodness. Got the red knee pads, you need those. I, just stay tuned. Me and Wild Hammer Cats. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, 
Listen, fuck them. They just want your money. I'm God. Of course. that that skip shift feature where it's like it forces you to like save gas or whatever and go in the, from first to fourth so i'm gonna be honest i do not have any grievances about this car and i am very very picky with how my cars work and how i just feel about them yeah the two things i hate that's number one is yeah. that skip shift um because either you have to just go quick off the line in order to be going too fast for it to want you to do that where you can go to second third and fourth or whatever yeah but for me when i go to work the car is cold so i don't like to push it, it. Yeah. so it's annoying but i've learned that i can just go into third instead of fourth and that way it doesn't bog down as much as it does if it, when it makes you want to go into fourth so it's not too bad skipping second and using third so huh. Oh, this is a good spot too. Oh yeah, you're different. Obviously, gonna be faster in a passenger seat always, but it's like the fact that the car is manual, bro. The you know, when you're in an automatic, the biggest like complaint, I guess you could say, and I guess you can attest to this for me, but correct me if I'm wrong, is the power loss that you get when it's getting sent through the powertrain in the auto and ready for that man. Delay. Exactly. Like with this, it's just, you just... <laughs> yeah, but you just know what it's gonna do. It's so fucking good. Yo, insane, bro. Insane for sure. So basically, it, it feels more punchy. Like, don't get me wrong, the 10 speed, insane. Like, bro, Vader is crazy. It's a different breed, and when I get it out of the shop, I definitely gotta take you for a ride. I wanna go for So, a ride. and I'll let you drive it too, so you can see the difference. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And then I guess, I guess I have, like, since I have, you know, Botons and E85, I'm hoping that maybe that'll kinda, you know, shorten the gap <laughs> of it being an auto. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, okay, well, it's a little more punchy than the stock one, so it's like, Maybe, you know, maybe it'll be more enjoyable. I wanted Pless to drive first. Pless, like he said, is a true enthusiast, okay? So with the 1LE, the 1LE is meant for curves, turns, auto crossing. It's what oh, it's meant yeah. for. He is a true goddamn, like, he would take this motherfucker at, like, I don't know. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, hell nah. What 
the hell cheap. All right. But it felt, it did feel planted. It did feel planted though. I, I will, I will say that. But that was definitely terrifying. Let's get to the story, my boy. All right. All right. How did how did you have two Camaro two SSs at one point? Oh uh, yes. So my the reason why I have this car is because my Scat Pack got stolen mm. out of my apartment complex. Tragic. Evidently, someone didn't want to work hard for it. They just wanted to take mine. So that's fine. So back in October, um, some Scat Pack got stolen didn't get found so um, I ordered literally on November 1st uh, with a hookup no less this is someone that I knew um, custom ordered a white Camaro 2SS pretty much just like this but not with the sunroof like it was true enthusiast specs like just basic except for you know the 2SS portion of it um, and then as we all know, the supply chain and everything was taking forever and I couldn't ever get an update on when my car was going to be ready. So months and months and months and months go by and finally in April, um, I went online because I got pissed off that um, they didn't tell me when my car was going to be ready and they still couldn't so we're like six months seven eight months later and um, so I just went online put my build in the GM thing and it said search inventory I searched inventory there was only two 1LEs with a six speed available to buy and that was this one in Ohio and then there was a rabbit blue somewhere but I don't want rabbit blue <laughs> and honestly I didn't even want this one because I didn't know about the orange, because my wife is actually an Aggie, okay. so okay. she wasn't too keen on the yeah. orange color. Yeah. yeah. Um, right. And then I wasn't too sure about it because in pictures it looks more. It doesn't look that good. Yeah, it doesn't like hit it. like it does in person. But anyways, I, that was a Sunday night. I literally called the dealership Monday morning. At, as soon as they opened, and I was like, "Hey, do y'all actually have that car on your lot?" And they said, "Yes." And I was like, "Well, I'm in Texas." And I want that car, so what's the price? They gave me the price, and I'll be honest, I had to pay a little over, but you know, one of two in the country at the time that you can even get. Yeah. Um, and I was like, well, if I fly up to Ohio and the car's not there, or the price is what we agreed upon, there's gonna be some serious, serious issues. So I showed them uh, pictures of my plane tickets, they pulled it off the internet, they put a sold sign on it, four days later, my wife and I flew to Ohio, these guys were freaking amazing. Like, out of all the cars I've ever purchased, they were the best to do business with. Made it super, super, super easy and transparent. Like, so much so that I'll literally fly to Ohio to buy another car from the Boston market. But anyway, damn. Um, get the car. It's April, so here I am picking it up where it's literally like icy and snowy on the road. I'm stuck. This clip right here. <laughs> I love that. I love. I, I'm gonna make you a believer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you a believer. All right, we'll see. I can't. I love the fact that y'all heard him. He said, "You got. You can choose what exact gear you need to get in that gap." I'm gonna get in that fucking gap. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll be honest. When I drove the the Porsche uh, GT3 RS in Vegas, you know that DSG transmission. I mean, that, I thing, know that, bitch was butter. that thing was amaze balls, and I mean, I'll, I'll, yeah. So I can't wait to drive your car. So yeah, going back to my story, uh, Charger got stolen. I finally got this car. Everything's good. And then fun facts about the Charger: uh, ten months after it got stolen, I got a call from a sheriff who had pulled somebody over in my car, and evidently they did a complete VIN swap on it, 
and the lady found one of the VINs that matched up to my the real car, called me, asked me if I wanted to press charges, I said yes, and um, come to find out, three days later, that car got stolen again from the tow yard that it was being stored at. <laughs> so now my insurance company is trying to find it again. God So, damn. yeah. It was a badass charger. I'll send you some pictures if you want to flash it on the yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. But it was completely murdered out, all black. Had some uh, matte gray lettering, stitch, um, bottle wrap on it a little bit. I love that car. I really, really love that car. But this car is lighter, smaller, way more fun. All right, y'all. So basically, I'm editing the video right now. And I realized that I didn't shoot an outro for this portion of the video. Um, basically, today, I shot like... I want to say maybe two videos worth of content. Um, we did end up going back to the meetup spot and then switching places. He actually threw me the keys and let me drive the car. So you guys make sure you hit that like button right now. Subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you can be notified when Wednesday's video goes live of me. Yes, J.I. You dig what I'm saying? Hopping in a six speed manual. 2022 Camaro 2SS 1LE. You dig what I'm saying? But with all that being said, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and roll this outro and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.